Okay, and there it is. There it is. Literally third attempt here to get this shiny Deoxys. And there we go, guys. Uh, here they are. Hey guys, how's it going? Lazy Hunter here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get a legitimate shiny Deoxys all the way from Pokemon Emerald into Pokemon Home. And also, we're gonna use that shiny Deoxys and we're gonna clone it a few times so we can get every single uh, form. There's actually another way, uh, aside from cloning this Deoxys, but I'm not gonna be doing that uh, because it takes a while, but it basically involves RNG manipulation and finding different seats so you don't hit the same uh, Deoxys, but we'll go into that in a few minutes. I highly recommend you to watch uh, my previous video uh, where I actually catch Shiny Mew, okay? That video is very similar to this one. Uh, and also you have to watch my video on the Arbitrary Code Execution Setup uh, because you're gonna need it uh, to get the Aurora ticket uh, in order to get to Birth Island and get this shiny Dioxys. So go watch those videos before watching this one. Okay, so in game, uh, what you want to do is we you want to go here to Marvel City, all right, just like we did with Shiny Mew, okay, and you want to get the Aurora ticket so you can get into Birth Island. When we were catching Shiny Mew, we needed the old sea map so we could get into uh, Fireway Island. This time around, we actually need this Aurora ticket. Uh, and you can find this um, in the Sleipner Space Bin, all right? And there's actually a code where you can get this Aurora ticket. Now, I actually got my Aurora ticket already. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how it looks, all right? Here it is. So you actually need this ticket and you just gotta execute the code, okay? You can use the X species, you can, you can execute another species, but just remember to execute the code and get the Aurora ticket. So once you actually have the Aurora ticket, uh, all you wanna do is fly over to Little Cove City, okay, right here. Okay, so we need to come over here to this boat. She's gonna give us a few options here and we're gonna select the Birth Island, okay? So we got Mew in Fireway Island. This time around, we're gonna get into Birth Island here. And there's actually a puzzle that we have to complete now. I'm actually gonna save right here, just in case I mess up the, the puzzle. Okay, so the way we actually solve this puzzle is we go like this, right? Then we actually have to go left and like this. Uh, then we have to go like this. Now we have to go from here. And then we have to go from here. Now we have to go there. Now like this. Now like this. And this. And this. And in this final step, you actually want to go here and save so we can do the RNG manipulation and get this shiny Dioxys, okay? Now let's leave the game for, for a bit here and go to our computer here. So you need Pokefinder, okay? It's the tool where that we use uh, to RNG manipulate stuff. Uh, you're going to need Gen 3 Seed Assistant and you also need this Eon Timer right here, all right? As for, the t uh, as for the Eon Timer, all you got to do uh, is select the Gen 3 tab here. And in the Timer section here, you just select NDS GBA or GBA, okay, depending on your console. And leave uh, everything as is, okay? Uh, for the calibration, uh, leave, leave it at zero. Okay, I'm actually going to leave it at zero like this. Um, and as for the target frame, leave it at zero for now. We're going to find our target frame here. And as for the pre-timer, leave it at zero as well. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is uh, actually find the nearest shiny frame for this Dioxys. I'm not gonna go for a particular nature or IVs or anything like that. So uh, I assume you already have a profile okay, for your uh, Emerald cartridge or emulator or whatever you're using. This is gonna be mine. Okay? I actually changed the secret ID last time uh, because my entry timer was actually a long time. So I had to change it. And now all we gotta do is actually find a target uh, shiny frame for this uh, Dioxys, okay? So you want to come over here to generator, method one, okay? So it's going to be seed zero, as always, in Pokemon Emerald. This is going to be events, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Dioxys speed, okay? It's it's it's, it's the speed, um, the default Dioxys here, it's going to be the speed form, okay? Uh, just a heads up. And you want to select shiny here. And you click generate, and this is going to be my nearest possible shiny frame, okay? And it's exactly the same for every single uh, static Pokemon. So I knew this already. So this is going to be exactly the same advance uh, for my shiny Dioxys. And 
Funny enough, this is going to be exactly the same um, stats uh, as my shiny view, okay? Because it's exactly the same frame, so same nature, same IVs and everything like that. If you want a different one, you can just uh, hit one of these advances, or you can change your secret ID to a, to a different one to hit a different Pokemon, all right? Or you can also do uh, some um, frame advance using the painting, okay? I haven't covered that in my channel yet, but I'll do uh eventually in the future okay how to advance the frames so you don't have to wait um but yeah i'll cover that in a future video so stay tuned for that um but anyway so this is going to be our target frame okay 1827 and all we have to do is come over here to the calibration section in gen 3 city assistant you want to set this to like 1827 because this, this is going to be the frame that we want to hit I know that I'm going to miss by a lot here in the, the initial calibration, so I'm actually just going to set this to like 300. Shiny. Uh, I can set this to start in square just to show you guys that uh, we're going to hit something here. As for the trainer, this is going to be 2904. It's going to be five ones here, and the seed's going to be seed zero, all right? And if I hit search, there's the 1827 frame, and it's going to be a shiny frame, all right? Now, uh, as soon as we get dioxys here, we have to calibrate this thing. So let me just set these two dioxys. I think we just have to set this uh, to S, right? Because it's speed. And this is going to be any. And we just have to start the calibration now. Um, so what do we do here uh, on the end timer is set this target frame to 1827. We get this timer, 30 seconds. And all we got to do is come over here to our Nintendo DS and start this Eon Timer at the same time that we start uh, the GBA game. So in this case, it's going to be uh, Pokemon Emerald. So one, two, three, go. Also, uh, I highly advise you to have a few Master Balls laying around because you're going to need them. Okay, You have to catch this Dioxys. Uh, you're going to have to catch this Dioxys uh, to check its stats. Okay, So you actually need the extra Master Ball. At least one, you know, at least one. All right, there it is, Dioxys, level 30, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to catch it with a Master Ball. It's not shiny, okay, of course. Uh, unless you, you have everything well calibrated, it's never going to be shiny on the first attempt, okay, so don't worry about that. And now we're going to check exactly which uh, Dioxys we got, all right? So let me check the stats here. So Dioxys, Summary, and this is a Careful Nature one. So let me change this to Careful, right? There it is. And as for the stats, it's going to be level 30 uh, with 72 HP, 69, and 66, then 59, then 64, and then 119. Calculate IV ranges, okay? Uh, just uncheck the shiny box there. And hit search okay and this is actually the one that we got um obviously we're way too off uh in terms of calibration so we just have to calibrate this a little bit better and you just come over here to the frame hit we hit 1997 we click update and we get this new timer right there okay so all we got to do now is just reset the game okay and go again with the new uh updated timer okay so that's all we got to do here Okay, let's go for this second attempt here. Let's see if we got the shiny. Okay, still no shiny. Calculate IV ranges, and this is the one we got. So we were actually pretty close, only two frames off of our uh, of our uh, shiny target here. So we just have to go like one or two more times here, and we should get this shiny dioxys. So we just gotta update this frame hit right here. So eighteen twenty nine. Uh, shouldn't be too much of an update here, but should be just enough so we can get the shiny. And let's go again. And let's see if we got the shiny. Give us the shiny Dioxys here. Let's go. Okay, and there it is. There it is. Literally third attempt here to get this shiny Dioxys. Nice, nice. Okay, so... Now, what we're going to do is catch this guy with a Pokeball, because that's part of my challenge, um, getting all of these with a Pokeball. One, two, three, and there we go. It's ours. All right, so we got the first shiny Dioxys here. So, 
Pretty happy about that. All right. Okay, so now that we got Dioxys, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to fly uh, to the Battle Tower in Battle Frontier where I'm going to clone this shiny Dioxys, all right? Okay, so now that we're in Battle Frontier, what we're going to do is do the cloning glitch, okay? If you're not familiar with this glitch, uh, go watch my video on this subject. I also have a video on that covering how you can clone Pokemon and items. Uh, so what we're going to do is basically now that we have Dioxys here on our party, and what you want to do now is actually uh, log in into your computer. You want to go to move or deposit, and you want to deposit uh, your Dioxys here somewhere, and you want to back out, Right, and you want to hit save. Okay, so you just basically deposit the Pokemon you wish to clone. Okay, so now that we deposit our uh, Dioxys here, all we got to do is withdraw Dioxys, right, like that. So we get Dioxys here, and we have to back out, and we have to talk with this lovely lady right here. All right, she's gonna ask us if we want to enter. You need to have two Pokemon, okay, below 50, I believe, and enter like that. And as for this dialogue, we're going to hit yes, okay? And for the next dialogue, we just close the game, okay? I'll just soft reset, whatever. So you restart your game, restart Emerald. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's my Dioxys here, so the shiny Dioxys. And if I log in into my computer, we should see Dioxys in the PC box. There it is. So now we actually have two shiny Dioxys, right? Like that. And all you got to do in order to get the next two Dioxys is deposit this one like that. So now we have two. And you want to save like that. So exactly the same process. But now we just we have two deposited uh, Dioxys and we have to with withdraw uh, both of them. Okay. And as you can see, there we have it. Okay, four Dioxys here, ready to be changed, um, so their forms, in Pokemon Platinum, uh, which is what we're going to do now. So we're going to jump into Pokemon Platinum, okay, we're going to transfer these four Dioxys over to Pokemon Platinum. And once we get into Pokemon Platinum, uh, we can actually change their forms, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that uh, next, okay? So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so we just selected um, the uh, four shiny Dioxys here to come into Paul Park. So now we actually have to catch them. And after we catch them, I'll show you exactly how we change their forms. Okay, so there's the first Dioxys right there. Shiny Dioxys speed form, all right, in Pokemon Platinum Generation 4. Okay, so now that we got them, they're in our PC boxes. And let's transfer them all the way over to our party here. Okay, and what you want to do now is actually fly over to Vilestone City, right here, so this town right here. And once you're there, you actually want to come down here to these rocks, okay? And the way this works is you're going to talk to all of these four rocks and you're going to see a uh, form change, okay? So, the way we do that is we're going to check this dioxys right here. And as you can see, this is the speed form, right? And once we talk to this rock right here... I'm not actually sure if it's a speed one. Okay, touching the meteorite goes to the speed of a certain Pokemon. So this is going to be the speed meteorite, okay? And this will actually change our Dioxys to the speed form, which is exactly the form that it is right now. Let's check this one right here. Balance out the attributes of a certain Pokemon, which means this is going to be the normal version of our shiny Dioxys. So uh, what we're going to do now is check our Pokemon right here. And as you can see, all of them change. And the way you get around this, you actually have to deposit like each Dioxys at a time so you can get a different form. So what we're going to do now is actually go into our PC boxes. Okay, deposit three shiny Dioxys and we'll come back here to get another attacking Dioxys and then a speed Dioxys, a normal Dioxys and a defense Dioxys. Okay, so I'll see you guys when we actually talk uh, with all these four meteorites and get a shiny form of Dioxys for every meteorite. Okay, and now that we're on a PC boxes here, we can check every single shiny form for this Dioxys, and it should look something like this, all right? I'm gonna show you the summary here. So this is the defense shiny Dioxys. This is the speed shiny Dioxys, I believe. This is the uh, normal one, and this, oh, this is the speed one, and the other one was the attack one, okay? They're all very similar, okay, in Gen 4, uh, but we got every single shiny Dioxys form 
okay, right there. And now all we have to do is uh, transfer for, from generation four all the way to generation five, and then via Poké Transporter, uh, put it in bank, and then from bank to Pokémon Home. Okay, and all we have to do now is just select our four shiny Deoxys here. So let's put them right there, right there, right there, alongside with these Brelims here. Yeah, we should be good to go. Okay, so we successfully transferred uh, all of these shiny doxes from Pokemon Bank over to Pokemon Home, and that's exactly what we're gonna be checking out right now. And there we go, guys. Uh, here they are, every single shiny Dioxys form all the way from Pokemon Emerald uh, into Pokemon Home, okay? We actually had to change the form in Pokemon Platinum, but that's the way you do it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe to my channel and join my Discord server if you have any questions regarding these methods. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, it's been Lazy Hunter and I'm out. Peace.